Hi, I'm Haley Gaylor with the Irish Streaming Network presented by Smith Belt Homes. Today I'm here with junior football player Jeffrey Wood. Thank you for joining us today. It's good to have you here. Um, today is our first game on the road to state where everyone's super excited. And I know it's your first game stepping on the field since your shoulder injury. Yeah. How excited are you for this game? I'm actually really extremely excited just because <laughs> I've been sitting up for so long. And at first, I really actually wasn't supposed to be playing at all this year. Mm -hmm. But since I've been working out a lot and working my shoulder, the doctor decided to let me go because of yeah. uh, a lot of calluses are building up. Mm -hmm. so. How has your recovery been? Um, it's been actually really, really fast. He said that uh, what happened was my shoulder, my clavicle came down mm -hmm. into my below my breastplate mm -hmm. and, and they hitting my lungs and pulling all the veins down in my neck. And then whenever they put it back in place, yeah. then it was just instantly it started healing. So it was really good for me. Yeah. So when you say it was really good for you, do you think this injury in the recovery process, has it been beneficial to your playing? Um, I think it has. I think that I'll come out with a lot of like fire tonight. Mm -hmm. I think that I'll um, come out, yeah, just pretty much come out with a lot of intensity and a lot of passion just because I've been missing the game so much. Yeah. Has anything in particular kept you strong and motivated in this recovery process? Well, when I came out, when I got out and I went into the uh, training room, I had to look in the trainer's eyes and he told me that he doesn't know if I'll be able to play football anymore. Yeah. And I got really upset about it, and I basically felt like I let my team down. And then when mm -hmm. I went back outside, everybody was still playing hard, and we were still playing. We were really getting at Fulton. Yeah. And my coach just told me that everything would be okay, Coach Brown. And I just after that, after I saw that my team was still doing well without me, I felt like it made it more comfortable for me. Yeah, I know Like with injuries it can be super hard to get back, and it's amazing that you're stepping on the field tonight, and I know that's going to be yeah. such an awesome feeling for you. Who has helped you stay inspired and motivated? You talked about some of the coaches, like Coach Brown. Has anyone in particular kept you motivated? Um, my father has. My dad, he calls me every day and asks me about it. He uh, works in Atlanta. He has like a bunch of businesses in Atlanta, so mm -hmm. he stays there a lot and then comes down for my games, which will be here tonight. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, he's been calling me every day, asking me how I've been doing in practice, asking me if I've been stretching, working out, drinking yeah. water, all that good <laughs> kind of stuff. And also, since I go to Catholic school, God, and uh, yeah, Sister John Catherine, I've been talking to her a lot, and she's been really a real inspiration for me. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know the season's coming to a close, which is not fun because it's your first game back yeah. from an injury, but what has been your favorite memory so far with the team? My favorite memory so far with the team has just been um, well, mainly my injury just because it opened my eyes so much Yeah. about, like, any play could be the last yeah. play. And I only got two runs against Fulton, but I'll get a lot more whenever we make, come next week. Yeah, exactly. And straying away from the injuries in football, um, let's talk about your music. I know last interview we talked about how, aside from football, you have a love for music. Yeah. And tell us about some events or news that's coming up with that. Um. Well, I don't know if you guys know, but... Uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you know the artist Future. Do you know who that is? Yes. Okay, well, um, he, we will be performing with him soon and uh, Tory Lanez and Travis Scott at Ole Miss at mm -hmm. the university t uh, towards like the starting of the summer. And then I have my own tape I'm releasing soon, either the end of this year or the beginning of next year. But I've started on it and there'll be eight songs and one track won't be a song. It'll be like, um, like I don't want to get, I don't want to give away too don't much. Don't want to spoil yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil <laughs> it. But um, just pretty much one of the tracks is going to be like a storyline about my life and mm -hmm. how I feel that nobody else knows about. Yeah. So it'll show a little piece of me that nobody else knows about. Well, that sounds awesome, and I can't wait to hear it. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us today, Jeffrey. It's good to be here. I'm Haley Gaylor with the Irish Streaming Network presented by Smith Belt Homes. Thank you for joining us, and go Irish. <laughs>